Storytellers were given the opportunity to share their words with a bigger audience thanks to the annual Northwoods Art and Book Festival. Lakeland News reporter Sherelle Moore has that story. The 23rd annual Northwoods Art and Book Festival saw its biggest turnout yet with more artists and authors in attendance than ever before. Northwoods Arts Council is, is a small organization, it's a nonprofit, and uh, we were able this year to get a Five Wings grant, which was just great to help with some of our publicity costs. Many vendors of the show have been coming since it began. Of course, there were also some newbies a part of the fun this year. Organizers worked extra hard to recruit some of the most unique creatives to town. We want to expand it out and really help people know how great art can be and that it might not just be an oil painting. You know, art can be funny sculptures made of old junk. You know, art can be pieces of glass that are used as stir sticks. The authors in attendance also spanned a wide variety of genres. For example, Jerry Hall was there to sign copies of his self-written book about all the things he encountered during a bike ride from Alaska to Mexico called Downhills Don't Come Free. I pedaled out of Alaska, solo and unsupported, into the wilderness, and I didn't train for this. The way I looked at it is, um, yeah, I haven't trained for it specifically, but I'll have plenty of time to get in shape along the way. More than 90 vendors were a part of this year's Northwoods Art and Book Festival. And of course, those vendors ranged from authors to artists themselves. A lot of the authors say it's a chance for them to meet their fans and even push their book out into the world a little more. For me, it's wonderful to be with a group of people who are literate, so interested in poetry, fiction, nonfiction. Um, they're readers. They're great readers. For anyone hoping to be in the festival one day, registration opens up on January 1st. If you're just a book lover and want to attend, the event is always held on the second Saturday in August. Having a book festival is maybe a little bit unique, and especially since there's so many authors here that are taking their time, they drive a lot, a lot of them are from the Twin Cities. Reporting in Hackensack, Sherelle Moore, Lakeland News. About 50 to 100 volunteers from Hackensack also helped out with this year's event. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.